All right, we got another New England Patriots 2024 NFL draft target. Today we are talking about Johnny Wilson, wide receiver from FSU. I have drafted Johnny Wilson countless times in my New England Patriots mock drafts because he is an imposing wide receiver standing 6'7", 238 pounds, with incredible length and solid blocking ability. So Wilson's frame immediately catches the eye resembling that of essentially a basketball player rather than a typical wide receiver. This unique physicality provides his quarterback with a big safety net, allowing for a significant margin of error against tight man coverage, a valuable asset in the NFL passing game. This guy's catch radius is just endless, and he showcases exceptional ball skills, making him a reliable downfield target. He has 36 inch arms, nearly 10 and a half inch hands and a standing reach of eight foot 10. Think about that standing there arms up eight foot 10. He also has a 38 inch vert 10 and a half foot broad. His 40s expected to be in the low four fours with a shuttle in the 4.2s in games. He's been measured over 21 miles per hour with a max acceleration of 5.26 meters per second and max decel at 7.21. So for his size, the guy can get going and stop. Now what sets Wilson apart is not just his physicality, but also his ability to dominate defenders down the field. He excels in chunk plays, utilizes his strong hands and body control to secure receptions and contested catch situations. His stature presents a unique challenge for defenders attempting to press him at the line of scrimmage, allowing him to consistently get into routes on time. Moreover, Johnny has plenty of reps at various alignments, wide slot even in tight wherever moreover johnny's probably your best blocking wide receiver in this draft he's not perfect and he slips off here and there but for a wide receiver he can dominate when he connects and locks up his stats are solid this season with 41 receptions for 617 yards and two d's admittedly this is an amazing numbers for this year but that's only in 10 games now for risks his route running shows promise, especially in initiating routes, but there's room to improvement at the top. Just not as crisp. He doesn't break them off compared to smaller guys. And that's to be expected. His releases also need some attention. They're not helping him create separation, which is obviously a critical skill at the NFL level. There's also questions lingering about his play speed. He is fast in the lab, but doesn't show up on the field. Sometimes that's not apparent for a guy that size. Last but not least, drops. Johnny had five drops this past season. That's not horrendous, but that's also not great for a guy I would be attempting to throw to his radius extremes. I want to throw a Johnny where nobody else can catch it, but the question is, can Johnny catch it as well? Now, why would the Patriots want him? Johnny offers some unique talents at the wide receiver position that could create big mismatches and also be a great target in the end zone. Plus, we have to acknowledge that Bourne, Rager, Nixon are all up for contract this year, as well as Gasicki and Henry. Now for me, Johnny could be a great Gasicki replacement, considering his size and athletic profile. I remember hearing comparisons to Mike Evans for him, which is fair considering Mike's style and size. Now obviously Mike Evans has a decade of a thousand yard seasons and has amazing hands. So I'm pretty far from making that comp, but that's probably what NFL teams are probably looking at Johnny to be. That big receiver who can go up against anyone in contested catch situations and will be feared in the end zone. Now, I think the Patriots would love to have a Mike Evans on a rookie contract and has plenty of other attributes that could be developed at the NFL level. We don't know if Johnny is that, but there's not a lot of other examples in this draft class. Now, when would the Patriots actually target him? This wide receiver draft class is very, very deep. There is very little risk of someone being overdrafted in this class without making a huge mistake. So I think we should see Wilson go on day two. I think we could see Wilson in the third, but I think Wilson's more of a third round target this year. Um, I would feel better about him in the fourth since I don't have any evidence to validate his ability to adapt to the challenges presented by top tier corners in the NFL. I just don't have anything that says that he can do it. So I'm leaning towards the fourth. However, I also have to consider that the tight end class is not as deep. So anybody who's just looking for a big receiving target from a tight end might also be looking at Wilson just like I am. So I am conceding the Pats would have to commit to a day two pick for Wilson. 
Anyway, what do you guys think about Wilson? Do you think the Patriots target him? If so, when? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.